Hello random people on the internet, my name is Banana, and we've only got a couple of days until the Crystal Hollows is supposed to release onto the main server, so you don't have much longer to prepare. But what should you do to prepare? How should you be getting ready for this update? I'm going to let you guys know how I've been getting ready, and then I'm going to teach you exactly what you guys should do in an order that is basically from the most obvious to the most obscure, because a lot of this stuff is very common sense but I figured that I should put it out in a video just so you have at least this weekend to prepare for the update if you haven't been getting ready at all. So let's just get right into it. So the most obvious thing for any update, unless you are an Iron Man, is that you should probably get some coins so that you can buy stuff. Uh, coins is a very broad thing, obviously. You There's so many different money-making methods in the game at this point. You can go do Enderman Slayer, Floor 7, mining, farming, selling friend requests. There's so many different options. I currently am at 2 billion coins going into the update, and even I don't feel like I am fully prepared coin wise because the recipes in this update look like they are absurdly expensive especially anything that takes the jasper gemstone because jasper literally can't be broken until breaking power 10 and we don't even know how to get a breaking power 10 drill and the alpha has been out for a while now so that is going to be a necessity money is going to be what carries you in every update so get some money it's going to help you out and it, yeah just do it in more of an actual and reasonable sense, you're going to want to level your Heart of the Mountain and your Mining level as much as you can. And when I say level your Heart of the Mountain, I don't just mean get it up to 5. I mean start farming powder. Right now, <laughs> before the update was announced, I wasn't even Heart of the Mountain 5. And now I'm at 2.7, about 2.8 million powder stored in my Heart of the Mountain. Because I know that the higher powder you're going to have, the better you're going to do in the update because of things like fortune speed and efficient miner all of these seem like they're going to be useful in the update efficient miner could be bugged right now on the alpha and it could not be supposed to work in there but efficient miner has been working completely for everyone in there and mining speed for sure will be useful fortune will be amazingly useful for getting these collections and getting more items while you're mining so having that leveled is going to be awesome pretty much every other perk other than quick forge is like useless though like titanium and sanium there's no titanium in the alpha luck of the cave there's no rare occurrences as far as i can tell in the alpha uh so a lot of these perks are sort of useless, but I would say that these three in the middle and Quick Forge, you definitely want to get as high level as possible. The way that I mine powder is I go over to this area. I'm going to show you. I either mine up there where I'm looking or I mine over here where I'm looking. And then whenever there's a powder ghast, I just basically go and I throw on werewolf with my tarantula boots. And then I just shoot runins at it because runins has aiming and it will hit all of the arrows much easier. It's actually better than terminator from what I've found for farming powder, but it, it's really good. It's definitely a pretty slow grind to get powder because I believe if you wanted to like fully max this menu, which as I said, is not necessary, but if you wanted to fully max it, it's something like 14 million, 14 and a half million powder. So it is a bit of a grind but getting it up is going to help you out so much in the wrong, long run so if you start grinding powder right now then you'll be pog champing same goes for mining level because mining level is going to give you more fortune which as i said amazing for collections it's going to help you out because you get four fortune every single level and it's just a level that you won't have to do again so your skill grinding and your uh, preparing at the same time so it's definitely worth it Mining doesn't take too long as a skill, especially when you look at it compared to something like foraging or fishing. So definitely try and get mining and just prepare by leveling everything that you have related to mining. Next up, we're going to talk items because you sort of may want to prepare some of the items yourself, whether that be crafting them in the forge or just buying them off of the auction house, because the recipes, some of them, not all of them, require old things. A lot of them are just new items and just cannot be prepared for other than just getting coins to buy them. But if you go into the Cowshed Discord, which I'm going to link in the description, and there's also going to be a Google 
Google Doc in the description. Th they have every single recipe stored in there that is basically just telling you exactly what everything from the forges is going to cost. So you can prepare pretty adequately for all the items that do th have things that are from the old updates. Like right now, I have everything, I believe, like I have five mithril plates, which I know is needed for the next big tier of the drill. You need refined titanium, which you actually save a lot of money if you forge yourself. I forge refined titanium like every day and I used to just sell it, but now I'm just forging it myself to keep it for the next drill tier. But gold, there, there's just so many items that are going to be useful in the next update. So if you can just go and see what they are and buy them now, I assume that they have already gone up in price, but they still could go up more in price when the update drops. So you probably want to get them as soon as possible. Now here's an obscure one. You want to get your gold collection up. Now why would you want to get your gold collection up? That's sort of weird. Well, in case you are ever, ever going to have the money to afford the golden dragon pet, which apparently isn't that good right now, but if they buff it, and if you can afford it, you're going to want to have a 1 billion coin bank, and you're also going to want to have as many digits in your gold collection as possible, because if I bring up the perks right now, you can see that pretty much two of them are reliant on your gold collection, because one of them buffs you based on the amount of digits you have in the collection, and one of them buffs you based on your bank account, which is affected by gold collection. So right now, I threw down a 14 tier 11 gold minions, and I've had them going for a couple days, so I hit a million gold collection on this profile, but if you just grind gold from this, from minions, it's going to be pretty easy. You can also manually grind gold in the dwarven mines but i don't think i would really recommend that because it's just sort of slow and i would much more recommend that if you're manually mining just go for mithril powder right now but uh these gold minions are definitely helpful for the future if you are planning on getting the golden dragon because if you don't have the gold collection you're basically throwing away a little damage that you would get otherwise so yeah Last but not least, I'm going to recommend that you guys do your research. And what I mean by do your research is look into what is going on in the update. If you can log into the alpha, which I believe anyone with a rank can at this point, I would go check it out for at least a little bit of time just to see how the map feels, how it feels to traverse the whole area. Because if you go in with no feel of that, the people who have a feel, at least a tiny bit of what exactly they need to do, they're going to have an advantage over you. That is a problem of the alpha where the day one experience doesn't exist anymore because people on the alpha already know what is going on. Someone hit Heart of the Mountain 7 on the alpha within like three days. So he's been playing a lot. He knows exactly what he's going to do when the update launches. And uh, he's definitely going to be better off than someone who doesn't check it out at all. So whether you do your research by going into Cowshed and just talking to people about it or just looking around yourself, that's what I did. I went on the alpha for like a full day and looked around myself. I figured out how to get everything from the crystal nucleus. And I do have a video on that coming out right when the update drops, but I'm waiting until the update drops to upload it because I don't think it's really useful to upload alpha content to everyone. But it's going to be something of a mystery for someone who goes in with literally zero idea. So I definitely recommend at least checking out the Alpha once. It is a pretty cool experience. If you don't want to spoil your day one and you're okay with just traversing a little bit less efficiently, I guess you can do that. But it's definitely a cool experience to go on the Alpha and just spend all of your coins on someone's auction house with no repercussions because they literally are, are fake coins. It's like how cash is fake money. But yeah, that's going to be all for today. Uh, I just sort of wanted to give you a prep guide. I've just been mining my mind off. Before double XP started, I know I was mining 31. I'm about to hit mining 52. I have just been going so hard when it comes to getting mithril because I'm trying to get the powder. I'm trying to make sure that big mining youtubers don't have a huge advantage over me content wise so hopefully I'm prepared for the update and hopefully you guys get prepared for the update so leave a comment down below on what you guys have been doing to prepare if you've been doing something different and that's gonna be all for today hope you enjoyed hope it helped you out and I will talk to you guys in the next video peace out